Hi, this is Vlad from Crypto Insider, and today I'm going to unbox this beautiful little piece of hardware, which in the grand scheme of things is irrelevant in relation to the powerful software that's hosted inside of it. This is the Casa node, and if you have been into Bitcoin, then you know that this is one of the most desired and sought after gifts and devices that you can have. With this little box, you are able to run your full Bitcoin node and also connect to the Lightning Network, open channels, route payments, and participate in really interesting projects such as the LN Torch of Trust, which was started by my buddy Hudlonaut, or even make payments that you can possibly use to purchase stickers and hats on the Blockstream shop. And I'm not sure what else you can do. You can tip people. You can buy stuff on Bitrefill, and there's a lot of stuff going on with Lightning. I, I can barely keep up. But this small little device, which is just slightly smaller than my hand, and I'm a six foot four tall guy, so yeah, I guess that's a bad kind of measuring it, has some really modest hardware. So it's really not about what's inside and the chips and the specifications, but more about the powerful software, which was developed by the engineers at Casa. And I got this by the virtue of a kind stranger who on Christmas Day decided to make my day and celebration a lot better when I said that all I want for Christmas is a Casa node, and I got it. But it took two months to ship, and it was, you know, followed by a lot of problems with DHL, the company which delivered it, and it was returned to Charleston once, Charleston being the city where Casa has its headquarters and probably storages. And then they had to return it and provide extra data. And now I discovered that this one came unsealed. So somebody from maybe the delivery company, maybe from my government wanted to see what's inside and did not trust that it's just a small little computer. So they opened it and looked what's inside. And it's very likely that they tampered with it. So I should look out for any kind of chips that were installed or to see if the software is intact. There is no way for me to tell that, so if this happens to you when you order a node, it's important to reach to CASA support before putting any bitcoins on this device. It's the kind of security that you should be taking as a way of preventing any possible hacks and minimizing your risks. So let's see, before I open this box, and it's going to be an absolute premiere as I haven't seen what's inside before, we should look at the adapters. So this is an AC adapter which uses the micro USB format. And it's a basic Raspberry Pi adapter, which even has a logo. And this is the cable which connects to the hard disk drive, I guess. As you can see, it's USB free, which means it's pretty high speed. But then again, how fast can a 7200 HD drive be, like 80 megabytes per second or something? And this is the ethernet cable, which helps you connect to the internet and remain connected at all times. And this goes into your router. It's very interesting that you get all the central cables to be able to connect to the internet and synchronize your full Bitcoin node, as well as get on the Lightning Network. This little piece of plastic is probably used to fix your node to the wall. So if you have screws, you can screw your CASA node, but you don't screw your financial sovereignty. Just in case you like bad puns. So yeah. Interestingly, this AC adapter has interchangeable plug adapters, or what do you call these? But you can switch between one and the other, depending on which side of the world you are in. So this comes in handy if you're from United Kingdom, or Australia, I guess this is the UK, or maybe it's the US format. I'm not very good with these. For most of my life, I have used this format. No, wait, this one. So these are the plugs that I see every day, everywhere I go. When I was in France, I think they were using neither of these. They had like a metal, what do you call these? I don't even know. They had three of these. In France and one was in the middle but you could even use these they were compatible in the United Kingdom I know that they are strained and they probably use this one but it's nice to know that anywhere in the world that you go you can take your casa note with you and you don't have to purchase an additional adapter 
that's useful. So without further ado, let's get to the main event of this video, which is the unboxing of this beautiful Casa node, which the Romanian government made sure that I get unsealed and I'm going to complain about it to the delivery company and also let Casa know to make sure that this was not tampered with. So this is tightly closed. Okay, ta-da! And, and here it says, hi, I'm the Casa node, which is very nice. And it says that we should get started. It says that I should remove the Casa node from the beautiful box and there is no need to wear white gloves because they understand why I would want to. Of course, it's very nice. It looks like the packaging of an Apple product. And unlike this ugly carton box, which is beige or something, this looks very nice and clean. And it says that the plug provided for the hard drive adapter is connected to the node on two sides. So let's take this out. So you can even see if you look closely, I'm, I'm not sure if it focuses, but you can even see the Raspberry Pi engraving beneath this CASA sticker. So the hardware is not impressive in any way. You have this HDD, I guess this is the hard drive. You have this connection and then you have four USB ports and the Ethernet connection. And then you have the HDMI. And I suppose this is audio maybe? It looks like an audio jack. And this is the power supply connection. I'm not sure what this does, but how about, I, I guess you can open this just like every other. Yeah, that, that was easy. Every other Raspberry Pi. So yeah, you can see that you have a small motherboard and it's impressive how far we have made it with technology that it, it can be minimized. and. I know that the Raspberry Pi 3 Plus is a very powerful piece of hardware. You can even do engineering and robotics with this. It's incredible how far we have come in terms of minimizing both the space taken by this enclosure as well as all the power that you can put into a small little chipset. Also, it consumes very little energy. So if you're concerned about the amount of electric energy that you're consuming in your house while running this, it's far less than your computer or laptop or anything else that you might run your full node and lightning node on. So you have the HDMI port, USB ports, you have I think two gigabytes of RAM on this one. But then again, I, I have, I guess, the same amount of RAM on my iPhone. So it's not really impressive in terms of size, but it's impressive in terms of capability and you should look at this and think whoa this is so small it's like four inches my six foot four guy hand is way bigger than this device look at it I can hold it in my palm I can grab it really tightly and yeah but the essential part is that the software matters the most so it's not about looking at this and saying oh this is marvelous but you're basically paying $300, not for this, which is for $100, but for the software that's installed with it, for the full Bitcoin core client, as well as the Lightning client. And you have a very nice software interface, which allows you to also connect and make sure that you run this properly. So Casa has really put their efforts into the software, which is also open source if you want to run it on your own, on your own device. But the selling point is actually the support that you get, just like in the case of Apple. You go to their stores and you, you have somebody who always takes care of your needs. In the case of Casa, they have 24-7 customer support, which takes care of anything that you might need in order to configure your Casa node and make sure that you're always routing payments, getting tips and opening channels and stuff like that. As you can see, the hard drive, which supposedly is a one terabyte Westgate HDD, is beneath the motherboard. You can see it here. You can see that it has its connection here. And I guess with the cable, you take it, you plug it in here, and then it goes in another USB port as shown in the manual. So it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. Baffle King Composing 
Hallelujah. This is the power connection. I put it in like this. And then I also have the Ethernet, which goes in here. So you need three cables to make sure that your Casanova is functional. And this might seem a little messy with cables on all sides, but it's the most they could make. It's not like you should blame Casa for this, as it's a basic, as basic as can be Raspberry Pi running a very specialized software that Casa provides. So don't worry, this is part of the process. You should probably put this in a place where you don't really see it too much and you don't stumble upon it. You don't have to trip on these cables. And this, I guess, connects here. So you can put it on a wall and forget about it, just like Donnie Brasco in the movie when he would always say, you know, Johnny Depp and Al Pacino saying, forget about it. You just put it on your wall, screw it to your wall, so you don't screw your financial sovereignty. Uh, I'm not sure if I can press this to make it properly get in. Maybe I'm not strong enough and I spent too much time on the desk writing, and I've lost my strength in my fingers and hands, and I even cut my finger, as you probably saw early during the, inter the uh, review. I said interview. Whoa. I'm getting tired here. So yeah, you put this back on. So it doesn't look like an exposed piece of hardware. And then you just press. Did I put it the wrong way? Yeah. This is the way it should look like when you run it. So this is the first part of the review. The second part is going to be all about how you set it up. And I'm going to record every small step along the way to make sure that you have a proper guide. Also, I will not be using that autopilot mode, which may be convenient, but it takes away some of the charm that you're having. It feels very exciting, even though I'm late at the party and people have been running this for at least two months now. It feels very exciting to be a part of the Casa family and run this. And uh, yeah, there's, I, wait, I think when they opened this, they took out the notes and yeah, I, I found this too. So it says, Dear Hodler, Casa Node is a small but significant step to a future where everybody truly owns their wealth and data. On behalf of all of us at CASA, we are grateful that you've decided to take this journey with us. Welcome to the CASA family, Jeremy and the Team CASA. So, thank you very much, Jeremy Welch, CEO of CASA. I think you guys have built a really nice product, which has a lot of features. And if you watch the news today, which came out from CASA, they even have their browser extension, and they have upgraded their support for this beautiful little piece of hardware that you can buy from their store, for $300. So without further ado, I'm going to connect this to the internet and see how it runs. As I said, I'm not going to put any bitcoins in it yet, and I'm going to contact CASA support due to this inconvenience with the broken seal. So since I opened this ugly box here, I found that this beautiful box had been meddled with and opened, and it wasn't me who broke the seal. So I want to make sure that either the software hasn't been tampered with and there was nothing extra installed on this motherboard like a malevolent chip to actually steal my keys and steal my Bitcoin. I don't want that to happen. And neither should you. So if you get this unsealed, just make sure you contact CASA as soon as possible and get through their support and see if this is really the real deal. It's interesting. Yeah, it also has an SD card here, and I guess this is what holds the operating system. And if they want to tamper with your device, I, I guess the easiest way is to install some kind of malevolent software on this SD card. It's easy to remove. Ah, I don't want to break it. But it, it's easy to remove. My fingers are fat. But if you don't have fat fingers, it's easy to remove. And if somebody wants to tamper with your device and knows how to do it, then they're going to do it. And you should make sure that this doesn't happen, so contact CASA if you find your device unsealed. Thank you, thank you very much for watching this. As you noticed, I have made a commentary on the go, so it's not like I recorded the voiceover after doing this. And I'm going to connect this to the internet and see how fast I can synchronize the full Bitcoin node. That's always interesting to see.
So thank you very much, goodbye, and stay tuned to the second part of this review on Crypto Insider.